everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and a big warm welcome if you're new here. I know that the title of this video could be a little bit controversial. Perhaps I should have said too mature uh, instead of older, but in any case, I don't want to offend anyone, of course, but I just think that at our age or older or younger, to be honest, at any age, you may not want to look older than you actually are. Now, I'm always about wearing what makes you happy and comfortable, you personally, but I'd like to share three top tips to consider avoiding, as I don't see any reason why we should look dated. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you outfits which do look a bit old and outdated and do need improving, and then I'm going to show you some easy ways to do that, which I really hope will be helpful for you. And... I've got some beautiful jewellery pieces to show you later on in the video too, which I think you will love as much as I do, because I really do, um, from Gingy Berry. This is a brand dedicated to mature women who want to express elegance, timeless sophistication and their own personalities through jewellery and that don't want to look outdated either. <laughs> but more of Gingy Berry's beautifully crafted pieces later in the video. So let's get straight into it with my first style tip to avoid looking older and outdated, which is avoid trying to disguise yourself by wearing everything baggy. Now, I know I've talked about this before in previous videos because I do think that there's a misconception that hiding our figures will make us look better. We often think that dressing well as we get older means covering up our flaws. And to do that, we're often tempted to wear baggy, shapeless outfits that just aren't flattering really. But my advice is try not to conceal your shape as it just makes us look heavier and older, or should I say too mature. If there are parts of your body that you want to disguise and areas where you don't feel comfortable wearing a tighter fit, then a good option is to choose pieces that just skim over the top rather than swathes of shapeless volume, which is very aging. Now, I like some pieces oversized, but worn in outfits that are balanced and balanced for your own personal shape as well. So let me show you what I mean in my first look. So as you can see here, whilst these pieces are all lovely individually, put together like this, everything's pretty baggy. Now you can't see my figure, so you might think that's great, but what it actually does is it ages me and makes me look dumpy and too mature. So we need to avoid wearing everything oversized. The chunky sweater and the wide leg trousers together are just too much. My whole body is covered with fabric and no skin is exposed either. So I just look like an old block. <laughs> so how can we improve this? Have a look at my next way of styling this up. So here I've paired the same lovely Abercrombie wide leg trousers with a more fitted top. This one is from Ted Baker. It's one I'm wearing now, actually. It's just beautiful. I love it for its fit and also for its soft ivory color, which I think lifts the look, brightens the face up, just looks more modern. Also, I've slightly pulled up the sleeves and this small exposure of skin on my wrist balances the look as well as youthifying it too. The V-shaped neck is much more flattering too. Generally, one perception of age is that older people tend to cover themselves up more, rightly or wrongly, that's the perception. And by exposing the neck and wrists, this automatically gives a less heavy look and more of an impression of youth and with itness. Hmm, possibly a new word. So what about if you wanted to wear that lovely chunky sweater, which by the way is from Lily Silk, incredibly warm and cozy. Let's see how we can wear it in a less outdated and too mature way in my next outfit. So here I've balanced the outfit by pairing the beautiful chunky sweater with black leggings and long black boots. It's comfy and it's proportioned at the same time. I think it also looks more youthful and less dated because it gives some definition to part of the body. And here, of course, you can choose yourself which part and choose what you know looks good on you to accentuate areas of your body that you like and are happier with. Not cover the whole thing, but through balance, take the focus away from the area that troubles you. So ideally opt for slimmer fitting bottoms with a chunkier top or a slimmer fitting top with wider fitting bottoms so that some part of your silhouette is showing for a younger vibe. So to summarize these points, really avoid wearing all shapeless clothes together. Try to bring in some definition to your figure and strategically expose small areas of your body like your wrists and your neck. Okay, on to my second tip to avoid looking older and outdated, which is avoid matching all your clothing styles. 
Matching and coordinating perfectly all your clothes and particularly matching clothing styles can tend to make us look a bit older and a bit dated if we're not careful. This is especially the case when we wear classic style clothes which I think because they're slightly on the formal side have a tendency to look a touch more staid and serious and therefore by definition a bit older and out of touch with you know what's happening. Not true of all classic styles but if you put too many together. Now personally I love classic styles and they're the mainstay of a well-groomed wardrobe and a capsule wardrobe too of course but by mixing classic pieces with a more current item you can keep your outfits looking fresh and up to date without losing the classic look and the put together polish. So let me illustrate what I mean in my next outfit. So this outfit is pretty classic and as you can see I'm, I'm wearing some really great classic pieces you know the black relaxed blazer I love this the black trousers the black loafers which I've teamed with this beautiful cream silk tie neck blouse it's quite old but I just love it now each item is great on its own but put together it's not very modern looking it's a bit dull bit samey too classic because every item fits into the classic look perhaps a bit tired even so in my next look I'm going to shake things up a bit and I'd love your views on what you think in the comments section below now obviously it depends what you're wearing these outfits for but the first outfit I thought looked very officey even though I didn't intend it to and this second way of wearing the same black blazer looks a bit more edgy a bit more youthful with slightly unexpected twists with the t-shirt and the sneakers and I have to tell you, it was way more comfortable to wear this outfit than the previous one as well. So let's analyze why does this second outfit look more youthful? Well, essentially it's because the clothing styles have been mixed up. I'm wearing a classic element with the blazer, but it's combined with a sportier vibe with the t-shirt and the sneakers. So mixing styles like this can be a real game changer for your look. Styles that are great to mix are, well, like I've just done, classic and sporty is a really good way of doing it, as well as sporty and romantic or sporty and feminine. That works really well as well, as well as well. If you change your clothing styles, you can create a style contrast which immediately looks more with it and current. So for my third way to avoid looking older and outdated, avoid dated jewellery and accessories. Accessories can really make or break an outfit at any age, to be honest, but it's something that we should be wary of getting wrong. Now, of course, accessories is a huge subject and I did create a video about them a while ago, which I will link below for you. I think there were five different accessories, which hopefully you'll find is really interesting. But if your aim is to avoid looking outdated, there are certain accessories that you might want to consider avoiding, such as old fashioned and particularly fake jewelry, which can so easily give you a whole look an outdated feel. Now I'm not necessarily an advocate of following trends too much, I think it's very much a personal thing. I prefer that we wear what we love and what we're happy in, but jewellery is one of those areas that it really pays to have some idea of what's current. That way you won't be a slave to trends, um, but if you give a little nod to a current trend that can really up your style game and help you to look much more modern. Because, you know, even if your outfit is really up to date, but if you wear some, let's say, 1980s jewellery, I know I still have some, <laughs> or some other older style jewellery, you will sadly look outdated and older. Now, I think another way to also avoid this is to go for quality rather than quantity too. So I'm going to show you what I mean with some beautiful pieces from Gingerberry. Elegant, timeless and classic jewellery. The philosophy behind Gingerberry jewellery is that beauty is ageless and that women should feel confident and beautiful at any stage of life. Something that I think is so, so important. Now I'm starting with these stunning 18 karat gold, solid gold earrings. Super light, super comfy and super beautiful. They're called the Aphrodite earrings from Gingerberry and they are just perfect. They look equally gorgeous with a casual outfit like perhaps shirt and jeans or a more dressy look for the evening or for a professional outfit for work. I just adore these earrings. I can see them as you can see here pairing beautifully with a mock neck or a turtleneck sweater especially for this time of the year which looks I think really chic together. Now they're incredibly meticulously crafted with this unusual brush texture and there's a depth to them but at the same time they are really deceptively simple and definitely classy and because they're solid 18 karat gold they are the richest tone of gold as well. I just love them and to be honest with you I've been dying to show them to you ever since they arrived. 
they're really up to date in design without being trendy as such. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing them here with a delicate string of pearls on a gold chain. This is the Starry Night Gold and Aurora Pearl Necklace. 11 exquisite Aurora Pearls set in an 18 carat solid gold chain. These pearls are flawless. They have such a brilliant shine and luster. So, you know, I'd like to talk to you about pearls because they've had a bad press in the past in that they're often thought of something that grandmothers wore and queens, of course, in our case. But they are really in vogue currently and I love that we have the opportunity to wear them again, but in a very different way from some years ago. Now, by wearing them and styling them up in a more contemporary way, we can look cool as well as looking graceful at the same time. So I would say for me, there are three key ways of wearing pearls nowadays, which will help us to look much more modern. And the first way I would say is to mix your pearls, as I have here in this beautiful piece, with gold or silver or another metal. This is a really fresh way of wearing pearls and a much more youthful look. A delicate string of pearls like this one mixed with a gold chain looks much more contemporary. The second way is you could try wearing them a little differently in a way that's slightly unexpected as I have here. Uh, rather than wearing it just as a round chain, I've attached the longer length going vertically downwards. And it's easy to change this necklace around as the chain is 45 centimeters, but it's very adjustable. You can wear it either way. Now here's another example of wearing pearls and a metal in a modern way in my next look. Now here I'm wearing a softer silk, well, largely because it is silk, <laughs> shirt with two strands of gingerberry pearls. One which is a classic strand and one which I paired with it, the sycamore tree in sterling silver, this time with a string of aurora pearls. So this shows not only the modern vibe of mixing metals, which I've talked about because you've got the pearls and the silver, but also the third way that I want to tell you about that you can wear pearls in a more contemporary way, which is by layering them. Now layering up your jewellery, to be honest, any jewellery really, gives a more youthful and almost bohemian vibe. And this is true of the way to wear pearls as well. So you could take any of your older pearl pieces and have a play at mixing them around with other pearls or layering a pearl strand with a metal necklace such as gold or silver. Just experiment with different lengths together and see how they look. If you're a bit lost, a good approach to start is to have a shorter length necklace, like a choker sort of length, and then add a longer chain and then sort of build it up from there. So there are a few unexpected twists in this look. One is, of course, the strands of pearls, but also I've mixed the classic element of the silk blouse with jeans and a leather jacket. So it becomes slightly more edgy. I mean, I don't think this is a staid and stuffy look at all, but silk and pearls could potentially be a very old fashioned combination. But styled up like this, I hope you can see that it looks a bit more up to date. So for my final look, which is showcasing my last gingerberry piece in outfit eight. I've chosen to wear velvet with this stunning necklace as I felt that the softness of the velvet was a great contrast with the sumptuousness of the pearls. This necklace, this is the Celestial Cascade, is a thoroughly modern version of wearing pearls. It's a really striking piece. Absolutely love it. The Tahiti Black Pearl, which Gingerberry has paired with five luminous Japanese seawater Akoya pearls. It's a truly exceptional piece. And again, you can wear it in different ways. So the moment you've been waiting for, I'm sure, looking at all these mouth-watering pearls is I do have a discount for you. Uh, it's Fab 15 for 15% 15 off site-wide and free gift wrapping, which I think is a wonderful little touch at this time of the year. And I really think that gingerberry jewellery, which is so classy, makes the most fabulous gift at any time of the year, to be honest. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you join our community. So I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week. I will see you really soon for some short videos and long ones. I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Lots of love to you all. Bye.